guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Um, this will be the first part of a new series we're gonna do. Uh, the series will be called Minecraft Build School. Um, this will be a series where we will not really give uh, concrete tutorials, it will more likely be something um, where we just try to make you a better builder by giving you tips and tricks and general um, speed tutorials, yeah. Uh, that's why we are in the Mighty Themes library today. Um, yeah, this video will be about uh, harbors, as harbors is probably the first thing that you'll build in a city. Uh, and there are many ways of doing it, I'm just going to show you a few things, um, a few assets we have, a few um, wall designs, walkway designs that we use, uh, and kind of explain you how to use them. Uh, and give you some tips. So that will be this video and without further ado, let's just get right into it. So in your screen you can see the three wall designs for the bigger walls. Um, these walls are labeled 1, 3 and 5. Um, the number correlates with the gap between the outer two most um, pillars. Um, I'm using this number system so it's like easier to explain later on in the video. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you exactly how to build these uh, and then I'm going to show you how to implement them. So, um, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a number one first, then I'm going to do a number three and then a number five. So, for number one, obviously, I'm going to start out by placing your um, stone brick blocks, um, two pillars with a gap of one, that's why it's called the number one, um, and build these until they're five blocks above the water, so one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then the middle part, you're going to just fill it in until you leave a gap of two here, and then the top one is going to be um, an upside down stone brick stair. Then in front of here, um, we're going to add some decoration, and you're going to do that by placing um, a pillar of s cobblestone blocks uh, until they're one block above the water, then an upside down cobblestone stair, and a cobblestone wall on top. Then um, you're going to fill in, uh, randomize these walls, obviously, with some cracked stone brick and some mossy stone brick. I'm using more mossy stone brick here because this is in a water. Uh, this is in a watery area and um, this these, these stones would get moss on them because it's f the water is full of life and it's dirty and like this this stone gets dirty and stuff like that. Then what you can do obviously is um, especially if, if you have big pillars or multiple, you can randomize some andesite, or in this case, I use some stone into it to make it just a tad uh, more interesting. Now, um, right now, I'm going to show you. You can, in between here, you can place a multitude of things uh, either fence gates in any color you like, uh, just normal fences in any color you like, or you could also um, go for an anvil. Uh, I, in this case, I don't really like the anvil, but if you like it, you can obviously use it. I'm just going to use, um, for now, fence gates, I guess, yeah. Um, yeah, and this is going to be your number one. Now, now, moving on to the number three. Now, number three is a tad bit more difficult. Uh, obviously, you start out with your pillars. The pillars are going to leave a three block wide gap, that's why it's number three, and again, build them up until they're five blocks above the water. Now, what you're gonna do um, is underneath here, fill it up, then another row, and then it's two blocks like this. Then what you want to do is to take out your um, stone brick stairs, place a stone brick stair, upside down stone brick stair right there, and upside down stone brick stair right there, and one in the middle, so these become corner stairs, and then a normal one down here. Then on top here, obviously, you can again fill it in with some um, items of your choosing. I'm using fence gates again, 
but in this case it might actually be really cool if you're using fence gates to place just a fence in the middle and it makes it look a lot more supported. Now for the supports um, you're going to leave a, a gap in the middle and then besides that it's going to be pillars um, again expand them until they're one block above the water and upside down uh, cobblestone stairs and some co uh, cobblestone walls on top of that and again this wall can be randomized with um, the materials of your choosing I'm using these already explained uh, there is going to be a, um, a video on randomization as I do think it's a really really important subject um, but I'll leave uh, Epper to do that one. But well, anyways, that is your number three. Now let's move on to the number five. So again, you're starting the number five with a gap of, you guessed it, five blocks. Uh, but in this case, there's going to be a b extra block in the middle. So um, it's kind of a number two two, but it just call it number five. It's just as easy. Um, again, build them up until they're five blocks above the water and the middle one as well. Then you're going to fill up everything like so until you have, again, a gap of two, uh, two high. So it's like a four, a two by two um, gap right here. And then what you're going to do is to place a upside down stone bricks there here and upside down stone bricks there right here. And two on the sides like so um, to get this kind of shape now the real fun is going to be adding the supports so first you build a um, cobblestone pillar that is um, two blocks above the water then an upside down cobblestone stair and a cobblestone wall then you leave a one block three on either side like so uh, and then do the same thing, but instead of two blocks above the water, it's one block above the water. So again, upside down, um, cobblestone stairs, and then cobblestone walls on top. And then again in here, the material of your choosing. And then obviously you have to randomize it a bit. And again, these can be randomized with andesite and stone, and these can just be randomized with the different cobblestone blocks you have at your disposal cracked and mossy and if you think other materials look good in the walls then of course you can do that as well but anyways these are the three um, bigger wall designs and I'm right now going to show you exactly how to use them so an implementation of those higher walls can um, can be seen right here in the harbor of themes um, these are not the exact same, these are an outdated version, um, the other ones are over there somewhere. Um, but as you can see, right here, the, the different walls actually break up the harbor a bit, so it's like different sections, different layers, and on different layers, so for example right here, on the first layer we have a crane situated, and on the second layer you can start like houses. So you can, these walls are really good at breaking up um, the harbor. What they can also do is, um, create bottlenecks so for example if you have uh, a defensive if, if your city is like really military based then those higher walls can actually break up and create a bottleneck where an enemy has to enter um, and this can already be be quite defensive uh, you can also of course make it more defensive if you'd like um, but yeah that is just a an implementation of um, what you can do with the higher walls so, in your screen right now, you can see three wall designs. Um, these are the three uh, wall designs that we use for the, the lower sections of the harbor. Um, these are just like the stone walkways with like uh, market stalls and stuff on top, with crates and cranes, and um, that leads eventually to the, to the wooden uh, or stone walkways. Um, these are numbered 1, 3 and 5. The number correlates um, with the gap between the outer two most pillars. So I'm going to show you exactly how to build these three. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to implement them. So, um, right now we're going to build the smaller walls. Um, these are mostly used closer to the water um, where things are stored... Um, temporarily 
So you offload your boat and you just put down all the crates right here. This is where cranes would stand. This is where may maybe th there's a lot of stuff you can do with this area. So um, I'm going to start first with the one, then with the three and then with the five. So starting off with the one, it's quite simple. Two pillars, one block in, in the middle. This time you're going to build it up till there. Five blocks, uh, no, three blocks, okay. Three blocks above the ground. And then um, for the one, build uh, this one up until this cobblestone block is one block above the water. And then it's just simply an upside down stone brick stair right there. And then for the support, uh, a cobblestone block and a cobblestone stair, like so. Then in, in between here, um, get the material of your choosing. So I'm again going to go for a fence gate, but you could also go for a fence or an anvil, or even uh, one thing I haven't co thought about, cobblestone walls, but I don't really think that looks good. I really like to have a bit of wood accents in my walls, um, just to break up the, the grey look of it. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is going to be your number one. Uh, and again, of course, you can randomize it with materials of your choosing. Um, Again, using some cracked stone brick and mossy stone brick just to make it look that much better. And yeah, that's the number one. Let's move on to the number three. So, for the number three, it's quite simple again. Um, just place a block here, leave three blocks free, and another block, and then build them up until they're three blocks above the water. So, one, two, three, above the water. Um, and then this design is going to be quite similar to um, the big one again. So build um, the underwater right here in the middle. There's going to be extremely filled in with stone brick. And then just in this corner, there's going to be a stone brick block and right here. And then there's going to be a stone brick stair right here. Upside down stone brick stair right there. And upside down stone brick stair right there. One in the middle. So these two become corner stairs. And then in the middle again, the material you're choosing. Uh, and I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the bigger one. Um, and now for the supports, it's quite simple again. Um, it's just simply a pillar on the water right here, made out of cobblestone, and then cobblestone stairs right here and right here. And then of course you can randomize this wall any way you like. Moving on to the number five. So for the number five again, um, oh yeah, again we're gonna move a pillar, a place a pillar right here, then leave five blocks free, like so, and another pillar that's three blocks above the water. Then um, build the middle pillar up as well until they're th three blocks above the water. Yes, and then have a row. Of blocks down here uh, and then simply in the middle uh, attach a, an upside down stair and an upside down stair and then normal upside down stairs like so so these ones become corner stairs and then um, yeah in front here we're gonna do the supports again it's again quite simple there's simply pillars of cobblestone in front um, and then cobblestone stairs on top and then um, on top here is going to be the material of your choosing and with that, we have basically created the number five. So what you want to do is again, randomize it a bit with the materials of your choosing. Just see what looks good. And again, in here that you can use some stone and some andesite in your cobblestone. And in here I'm using stone brick, mossy stone brick and cracked stone brick to make it look just that much better. One thing you can do for all your walls um, which I haven't mentioned yet, uh, is you can add some stairs here and there, just to to make it look like there's a block missing or um, something like this is going on, something broke off, something fell off, something is missing, just to make it look a bit damaged, a bit alive, as if it's old and it's been there a while and it has seen some stuff. So yeah, anyways, um, I hope you get that. I'm now going to show you how to exactly use this um, in your 
harbor. So right now we are in my medieval city called Themes. Um, we have many videos on this city. If you want to explore that more, there will be some links in the description. Um, but right here you can see some examples um, of um, the wall designs I've just showed you how to build. Um, these are the lower, um, there's old number three walls. Um, and as you can see, um, if I just fly around a bit. You can see that you can make really nice organic shapes um, with the wall designs. Um, these are just a tad bit different, um, but these are actually the exact wall designs I showed you how to build. Um, and I think, yes, in this way, it looks really nice. This is how you can actually um, curve them around. One tip, the major tip, what you want to keep in mind uh, is to go with the terrain. If the terrain uh, is really curvy, then make your harbor really curvy as well. This terrain right here, I remember there was like a natural um, dock right here, so the, the terrain naturally curved inwards and outwards. And um, I just uh, had these, these walls follow the terrain a bit and then fill the rest in with uh, the stone. I will explain at the end of the video how to do the stone. Uh, it will be quite easy. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you can of course uh, add little things like cranes and buildings and uh, we'll see you in a second. So, right now I'm going to show you how to build um, the wooden walkways. Uh, this is like the most commonly used way of, of making harbors. Um, and I really like it, it's really cool. Um, uh, there's a multitude of way of doing it. Uh, the first thing you have to realize is do you want to place it uh, on this level or what I prefer right here uh, using oak wooden slabs. Um, I always place it on the top half of the block that is above the water. The reason for doing this is because I do not, do not want to disturb the water. So if I place it right here, a slab would just um, ruin the other side. I might be fixed, but I don't want it to be on the same level as the water. So I wanted to kind of have it above the water, but if I place it right here, then it's the lower part of a uh, of a full block. So you can't place anything on top of this. Uh, if you, for example, want to place some crates on here, or you want to pl place some some products that people have have, have brought by ship, then. Uh, doing it this way isn't really useful. If you do it this way, and you have, for example, a pile of logs, then you can just place it on top of the dock. And uh, I think that could um, give more possibilities of actually making your dock uh, look a lot more interesting. So, we're going with that. We're going to simply um, build a, a giant plateau. Like for example, it's going to curve with this wall and actually go this way. And maybe right here, it's going to go back in. Um, and I'm just ignoring all the supports and everything else. So for example, this, this is the shape for now that you want. Uh, and then, for example, right here, you can say, okay, now it's it's going right into this wall, and there's going to be like a long um, plateau that's sticking out where you can actually um, have boats dock on either side, and you can get the produce out. So, for example, we have something like this. I don't do not like this. Do not like this. Yeah, I like this. Yes, wonderful. Um, so, um, basically, what you do, try to make it organic. Don't think about it too much. As you can see, I just kind of did some things. And what you can do afterwards is, for example, say, "Oh, I didn't like this. I want to tweak this," and just fill it all in. Fill it in. Now, um, we have these these cobblestone supports on these walls, um, but if you you don't really need them when you're building um, a walkway in front of them because these um, supports are really there so you could um, you d didn't need a uh, hmm. the, these supports were really there uh, because the, the wall looked kind of plain without them but if you have uh, something like this in front of them um, these walkways then the wall stops looking plain because there's just less wall um, to behold um, Yeah, sure now um, a way uh, 
fuck. Yeah, sure. Now, um, this walkway, of course, needs to be supported. So we're going to place um, some oak wooden pillars um, on strategic places along this wall. So, for example, this is a really good place for a pillar. And I always like to make my pillars just one block higher than the actual walkway. So maybe right here there's a mo uh, another pillar. Maybe right here there's another pillar. Maybe there's one right here. And maybe there's one in this corner. Just like that. Um, and now, just having these as plain pillars can work. But I don't think it's the optimal way of do doing things. So having these pl pillars uh, just plain like this, you could do that. But I don't think that is the best way of doing it. Um, I really like to decorate these a bit. You can do that, for example, by placing some pressure plates on top. Um, you can use wood. You can also use stone. I, I do really like stone. I do not know why. It, it's, it doesn't really make sense, but I, I kind of like it. But I also really, really like the wood. Yeah. Um, another thing you can do is actually kind of embed them. So, for example, here, I'm just placed two more um, of these wooden planks, and it kind of looks like it's just inside um, the walkway now, instead of just poking on the outside. So you can actually, for example, I might do it with this one as well. So instead of placing it here, you can just place it on the inside, like so. Um, another thing you can do with these is to place uh, signs, for example. Here's a sign, and this one is a sign that goes all the way around and attaches it to here. And um, another way you can decorate it is instead of signs, you can place... Um, trapdoors. These are the trapdoors in our texture pack. If you don't have the texture pack, there should be a link in the description to get this texture pack. It's really nice. Uh, if you go on our server, it downloads automatically as well. But anyways, um, trapdoors work really well. Signs work really well. One thing you can also do is, for example, right here, um, you can add like a little fence. So it's like a place where uh, there's maybe some rope uh, you could actually add some rope with some some lead. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Anyways, there's many ways of decorating this. Um, this is just one way of doing it. Now, um, another thing I have to show you um, before we get into uh, the next part of this video is, of course, uh, how do you get on top on this of this uh, walkway? Um, simply, what I always like to do is, for example, take this this three. Um, I'm going to transform this this normal wall into like a stairway. What I can do for that is, for example, on the sides, right here, uh, attached to these pillars, I can make um, a little uh, another pillar of uh, stone brick. Uh, and then in between here, I'm just going to take these slabs uh, and kind of play with it. And then eventually you can come up with a really nice stairway design. And just like that, I already made um, a little uh, way to get to the to the other side. Um, now for these sides, you.